Joshua Martin, do you take Kayla Smith to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and keep her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? Kayla Smith, do you take Joshua Martin to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, comfort, and keep him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only for him as long as you both shall live? Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Pastor Jim Martin, father of the groom, is going to address the couple and lead us in prayer. I was hesitant to say something at first because I've always been so real with you that I've never shared my heart. So I'd like to say three things to you. Number one, I love you with all my heart and soul. From the first day I held you in my arms as a baby, I knew what love was. Number two, since that day you were born, you, every day of your life, you have brought me and your mother nothing but true joy. And number three, I'm proud of the man that you've become. And I'm thankful to God and honored that he has made me to be your father. Kayla, sweet Kayla, I was hesitant about you at first. <laughs> <laughs> but for good reason. You don't know it, but since Josh was a young child, we prayed for you. We didn't know it was you but we prayed for Joshua's wife, that God would keep her protected, safe, and pure, whoever it was, and I'm glad it was you. We love you, and we look forward to a wonderful future together with you in our lives as you join together in this family. In Genesis chapter two, God instituted the first marriage. He instituted the first family and the first love story. God always knows what is best for us. He brought you together today to complete each other, to enjoy each other, to develop your own love story. It's been a pleasure to be a part of watching you grow up, dating, not dating, <laughs> dating, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not dating. <laughs> and then you graduate and you go to separate colleges and you come back home and fall in love all over again with your, with your high school sweetheart. God always knows what's best. Love each other. Learn about each other. Appreciate the talents and the strengths that each of you possess. And purpose put the other above yourself in your relationship. Ephesians chapter five tells us the role of the husband and the wife. And God knows what's best for us, and he certainly knows how to develop a healthy marriage. Josh, you're to love and lead. Love Kayla with all your heart. Leader, guider, director, keeping her best interests always in mind. Kayla, you are his helpmate. Help him, even if he doesn't want it and submit because the ultimate responsibility lies with your husband. The great love stories, the great success stories in the Bible have one thing in common. They did things God's way. And so I want to challenge you this evening that you would purpose 
in your heart to pursue God wholeheartedly all the days of your life. And as you draw closer to him, you can't help but draw closer to each other. Joshua and Kayla are going to read their vows to each other at this time. I, Josh, choose you, Kayla Smith, to be my wife, united in Christ from this day forward. As we stand before God and our friends and family, we are making a public commitment to each other. I recognize God's authority over my life. He has chosen me to be his own, and he is now my life. I, re I also recognize that he has blessed me and entrusted to me your life as a free gift that I have not earned. I purpose to love you regardless of the circumstances. I promise to seek an attitude of understanding and forgiveness. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I vow to love you in good times and bad, when life is easy and when life is hard, when love is simple and when it is an effort. You're my best friend and you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I promise to fall in love with you a little more each day. I want you to know that I will continue to always be faithful to you and forsake all others. I promise to stand by your side in sickness and in health. I will try my best to be the godly leader you deserve. I love you with all my heart. These things I give to you today and all the days of our life. choose you, Joshua, to be my husband united in Christ from this day forward. I commit myself to share with you the realness of life, recognizing both the brokenness and the beauty around us, to create with you a home in which the peace of God is known and the needs of others is recognized, and to look to God's guidance in all that we do. I promise to seek an attitude of understanding and forgiveness and offer constant love to you. You are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage before God and our friends and family. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I vow to love you in good times and in bad, when life is easy and when life is hard. is simple and when it is an effort. You encourage me to be the woman that God created me to be and you accept me for who I am. I am so proud today to call you mine and become your wife. I have so much respect for you and your faith and God inspires me. Everything that I have is yours. I give myself completely and freely to you. I commit myself to you and promise to be faithful to you. I love you with all my heart. These things I give to you today and all the days of our life. The wedding ring is a symbol of eternity is an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts in endless love. And now as a token of your love and of your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul, you, Joshua, may place a ring on the finger of your bride. Please repeat after me. Kayla, I give you this ring. Kayla, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. By the same token, Kayla, you may place a ring on the finger of your groom. Please repeat after me. Joshua, I give you this ring. Joshua, I give you this ring. 
Joshua, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. For as much as you, Joshua and Kayla, have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God in this company by pledging your love and faithfulness to each other with the giving and receiving of rings. I now, therefore, by the authority vested in me, pronounce you husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Joshua, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Martin. <laughs>